Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Ada. Yeah, it seems like the count here is working out at the moment. Yeah, um, talked about it in the last video again throughout the entire weekend. We talked about it that this could be an Elliott wave triangle. And I mean, I'm not entirely convinced about it because it is so long compared to what happened down here. Um, but it could be that wave four triangle still. Yeah. This green support area, by the way, we move that to the side for now. But um, as long as we're holding, I did say that as long as we're holding the 38.6 cent level, the A wave low of this triangle, as long as that's the case, we can still get a rally um, at the end, you know, um, in that fifth wave. And um, this is still sort of what I primarily follow. I'm aware that it is sort of out of proportions at this stage. Yeah, it's out of proportions because um, the wave two is very short time wise as well. So it's completely, it doesn't fit in. Yeah? So that makes me consider something different. But the point here is as long as we're holding that a wave low at 38.6, this is the count. And especially as long as we now hold, and that's great because we now have with yesterday's low, a C wave low at 38.9, which we can use, which touched perfectly here, the lower boundary of our support area. Um, as long as that support area is holding, we can focus on higher. The thing is, if breaking below that level now, 38.9 will be a warning because if you go below that level, this here cannot be an E wave. An E wave is never allowed to go beyond the C wave, never. And if it does, then you know that this was possibly a triangle, but the other way around, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, until then, this is um, a valid Elliott wave triangle where we actually can connect waves D and B. That's sort of how you normally do it. You connect the BD line and you connect the AC line. Now you can see we still have a bit of space until we really head into the apex here. But this is something interesting to keep um, to focus on. Could be the wave D top is in now and we might come down in E. Again, it needs to hold above 38.9. What would be a valid target for that E wave? That is, first of all, I would be interested to see, did actually the C wave relate in any way to FIB levels? Yeah, well, you could argue 61.8 here. We had a wick down, okay, but the candle closed just, just where the 61.8 FIB extension is. So it's, um, yeah, it's following it. You, you do consider wicks, yes, but if you, sometimes the crypto market is so volatile and dynamic it breaks those targets, but we did not have a candle close be beyond the 61.8 extension. It's only a guideline anyway. So a target for the E wave, you know, we take the length of the C wave, go to the high of the D wave. And again, we're looking for the 61.8 extension, two targets here, the 38.2 at 39.8 cents, and then the 39.2 cent level here, the 61.8 extension. And um, yeah, if that E wave is not going below the C wave low, we could expect possibly as the next move up the fifth wave. If, however, we break below the C wave low, what happens then? Then I have to change the count. Yeah, I would have to assume that all of this was an impulse complete to the upside in a wave one, here with a top at 42.1 cents, that we came down in an A wave of a correction, of a wave two correction. All of this is a B wave triangle, A, B, C, D. E as a triangle in a B wave of a wave two, and we can then rally afterwards down in a C wave of two. Yeah, so these are the two scenarios we need to be watching. And for this purpose, this support area will be relevant between 36.1 and 38.3 cents. If we hold this low, then it has a chance to rally then in a third wave. These are the relevant pivot points that we need to be watching in the very short term, which means that if after this E wave, we don't break to the upside, there could be a warning that this is going to eventually break down. Yeah. Okay. That's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.